Mike Gallagher. There's a lot of blessings. Portions of our show are brought to you by Wounded Tiger, and I'm very excited to introduce you uh, to T. Martin Bennett. He Great story. Uh, he went, dropped out of school. He co-founded a company that uh, received the Presidential Award of Entrepreneur of the Year from the Small Business, uh, Small Business Administration. We love entrepreneurs, and we love great stories <laughs> like the one behind Wounded Tiger. T. Martin Bennett, welcome to the Mike Gallagher Show. How are you, sir? Mike, so great to be with you today. Thank you so much. Well, I'm excited. I just started your book last week, and I'm about a ha- about halfway through. It's fascinating. First of all, give us an overview. It's always better to get an overview from the author than a big mouth on the radio like me. Tell us what Wounded Tiger yeah, is about. Well, the, uh, the elevator pitch slug line is on the front cover of the book. It's the true story of the pilot who led the attack on Pearl Harbor, whose life was changed by an American prisoner and by a girl he never met. If this were a fictional story, I don't think it would work very well because it's just too far out. However, it is true, and it is really a mind-boggling positive story. And and it's mind-boggling because it's unexpected. You know, we think we understand World War II. We think we understand Pearl Harbor. Uh, tell us about Masua Fushida, who he was, the the the, the, the Kavul family. T- just tell us about the different personalities and how they all intersected in life. Yeah, so Wounded Tiger in, has three different plot lines in it, and it, it, this is the true story. So the guy who led the attack on Pearl Harbor was Mitsuo Fuchida. He was handpicked by Admiral Yamamoto. Uh, he was, you know, motivated by national pride, by his own selfish ambition, and uh, his leading the attack on Pearl Harbor was a day of joy for him. I remember in high school thinking and asking teachers, you know, what were the Japanese thinking? Why did they do this? Were they trying to take over the country? I don't get what, what was behind all that. Uh, so that was part of, of what drove me to figure out this story. But as I dug deeper, there's two other very significant plot lines to the story of Wounded Tiger. Uh, the second is a guy named Jake DeShazer. He was an American who joined the U.S. Army and then volunteered in the U.S. Army Air Corps for a secret attack against the Japanese. This was called the Doolittle Raid. Uh, unfortunately, he became a prisoner of the Japanese and was in solitary confinement, torture, uh, saw his buddies shot. Um, die of exposure. So he was living in a kind of a hell on earth. But his story uh, changes, and it ultimately his story, his path changes, uh, excuse me, crosses with that of Puchita. And then the third plot line is the Covells, who are uh, highly educated teachers from Chicago, went to Japanese, excuse me, to Japan to uh, as teachers, but also as missionaries. Their kids were born and raised there. And they all spoke fluent Japanese. They loved the Japanese people. But when Japan was ramping up for war, they fled the country to the Philippines and then sent their children on to the United States. So these three storylines really have nothing to do with each other to begin with. But as the story progresses, you see how they slowly come together. And, uh, you know, the world is full of fighting and killing and war and it has been since the dawn of man. But this is a story of two people specifically that is Fuchida and Jake DeShazer, who hated each other's nations uh, to the point of just wanting to kill, and yet they came to a place where they met as friends. How does this happen? And and seeing it happen before your eyes in the story is really an inspiration and a challenge to this world that there is a solution, but it's not easy. It's not easy at all, and, and, and this whole battle between good and evil is something that goes back to the beginning of of, of humankind uh, when God uh, created man and and gave us free will and a lot of there's a spiritual component to this book that I appreciate so very much and and I want to talk about that with you as well. We're visiting with uh, uh, with Martin Bennett. He's the author of Wounded Tiger and let's talk about the title of the book. I, I don't want to give too much of it away because I whenever I read a good book, it's like I don't want to give too I don't want to I, I don't want to you know spoil it for people, but tell us about the meaning of, of the title of the book, Wounded Tiger, the wounded, wounded Tiger, Martin. Yeah, it's a good question. Most people have heard of the movie Torah, 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 which was shot in the 1970s, actually, I remember that the movie. late 60s. I happened, yeah. it's a funny footnote that I was in a high school, excuse me, junior high school in Costa Mesa, and I saw these zeros flying over our school. We were all looking at them, what is going on? And they were shooting the film, so I happened to see those wow. planes. But Tora 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 was the signal that went back from Puchita to his fleet that indicated they had achieved complete surprise. And Tora means tiger, so the signal was tiger, tiger, tiger. Puchita was born in the year of the tiger, and a tiger is an, an animal that's a great power and beauty and majesty. They're, they're an awesome creature to see at the zoo. 
up close and you know one swipe with their paw can crush your skull i mean they are a powerful creature but a wounded tiger is a creature that really can't reach its potential and Fujita had ambitions for himself for his country and it turned to be a colossal catastrophic failure for him so the story of the the, the title wounded tiger is really the story of how his life was redeemed and and restored and it's really ultimately everyone's story because we all have potential for great power and beauty and success but those things just elude us and it's only when you allow god that opportunity that you'll see how it all pieces together and in this story of wounded tiger you'll see situations where it seems there's no possible way for any good ending to happen here it just seems like absolute and impossibility however when you see what happens you think golly i never thought of that that's amazing and my hope is that people would look at this story and think well my life is not that bad i'm not torturing people i'm not killing people i'm not in solitary confinement but god can help them in their situation maybe he can help me in my situation it's a perfect perfect book for the times that we're living through Th uh, thank you for writing it i know maybe there are plans for a movie down the road we'll talk about that i hope to with you again as well woundedtiger.com you can order it today uh, again you want to talk about uh, we, we're, we're going to talk a lot about great christmas gifts this one is perfect the true story of the pilot who led the pearl harbor attack and what happened to him t martin bennett congratulations on the book i hope everybody goes to woundedtiger.com to order the book today wounded tiger Dot com. Thanks, Martin. Keep fighting the good fight. Thank you, Mike. Thanks a lot.